Hey friends, today I am hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and a little bit later we're gonna hop over to Epcot but it is the first official day you can take your mask off and have a photo with the castle. So, let's go do this. Say cheese. Cheese! How cool is that, guys? Now we get to take our face mask off so that we can get a quick photo as long as we're staying stationary. And I absolutely love it. The uh, photo pass photographers are being so happy about it. Uh, every time you go up with your mask on, they're like, hey, you can take those masks off now. It's so awesome. I'm just so happy seeing people happy. We're gonna be keeping our eyes open for all the character cavalcades. A couple new additions uh, to the cavalcades and I'm excited because one of them's a super rare character. Moana, make way, make way. Look it, it's Moana. I've only ever got to do a meet and greet with her uh, for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. Talking to a couple cast members whose job was to make sure people keep the mask on for photos and they were so thrilled about it. Like they were saying that they can see a big change in the atmosphere, how people are much more happier and they're probably a lot more happier. I mean they don't want to be the bad person to say hey you got to put your mask on. Now they you know kind of get to ease back a little bit and that's fantastic. I, this is such a great step forward. It doesn't only have to be with a photo pass photographer. You can actually just take your own selfies with your mask off as long as you're standing still. It's all that matters. Don't go walking around with your mask off. Just stand put and take a photo. I'm so happy that we hopped over to Magic Kingdom. Actually, the reason we hopped over to Magic Kingdom is because this is where I had my park reservation for the day. So in order for me to go to Epcot, I had to come here, scan my band, and then I would be able to park hop to Epcot at 2 o'clock. So now we're going to hop. We're going to hop to Epcot. And just like that, we are at Epcot. I love park hopping. I'm so happy it's back. A lot of great things happening today. particular plans at all today just kind of want to hang out at Epcot meet up with some friends and enjoy this beautiful day I'm loving the new Epcot music what do you guys think I know it's a big change because I used to love walking into Epcot to Soren but I really do like this momentum they got going on here like I kind of feel like it's getting faster and faster and then we get to the spaceship Earth, and we're like yeah <laughs> Look at how pretty the walkways are right here by Spaceship Earth with all of these petals on the ground. Isn't this gorgeous? I love it. I'm gonna make my way straight into World Showcase. I've been craving pizza. So we're gonna head to Via Napoli and see if we can get either a walk up or a last minute reservation. It's not promising because I think it's one of the most popular restaurants here, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. As I make my way over to the Italy Pavilion though, I did realize that all four of the harmonious barges are out now. Take a look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. This show is going to be so cool when it does start. I'm hoping they do it sometime during the summer, maybe. I mean, I'm just excited to see any Disney fireworks again. I've always said nobody does fireworks better than Disney. I mean, I just love the fact that they intertwine the music with the fireworks. I mean, you could do a big firework display, but to have it go hand in hand with like uh, Hercules, I can go the distance. I mean, that's something nobody else could do other than Disney. And that's why I love them. And here it is. Luckily, they said that we could actually get a table or two and it'll only be about a 15 minute wait. So we're gonna wait it out. But if we didn't get a reservation, the pizza window is now open. I have to say though, I prefer the pizza inside Via Napoli. This is a square cut pizza here. It's very thick, very heavy, but honestly, the better one, you gotta go Via Napoli. 
Now we have made it to our table. It was only like a 10 minute wait, so that is amazing. Like, just to be able to walk up and get a reservation, I feel blessed as it is. But one of the reasons I really love eating here is because they sell the beer by the pitcher and the pizzas are gigantic. My favorite pizza in Disney, I would have to say. And I also love all of the cool ovens. If you want to watch my full dining review, I will put the link in the description so you can watch it. But I tried almost every menu item in here. I'm obsessed. <laughs> A nice frosty mug. And then, of course, look at that. <laughs> I love it. We have got a pitcher of Peroni to share. A pitcher of Peroni. <laughs> I like the way that sounds. We got a picture of Peroni. It's Dominic the donkey. Hee haw, hee haw. Do you know that song? No. No? No. Really? It's an Italian Christmas song. It's from Italy. That, actually, there's a donkey outside on the cart, and that's Dominic. Even though I have eaten here plenty of times, and you might have seen the videos, I always like to show you the ovens because I think those are the coolest things about this restaurant other than the amazing pizza. But without the ovens, you got no pizza. So to me, they are the coolest thing, or should I say the hottest thing. Look at those ovens. Isn't that so cool? And they all have different names. And those are the active volcanoes in Italy at the moment. Lots of people enjoying their pizza. Did you guys enjoy your pizza? Yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy oh. drinking beer out of a pitcher. It tastes better out of a pitcher. Does it? It really does. To Look me at that. Does. Well, I'm pouring it wrong because I'm oh, doing it one-handed. I'm gonna pour it for you. Oh, can you tilt the cup a little bit for me? Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, look at this. That's how we do it. We fix that situation. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we had to go with the full. Oh, whoa. Look at this, guys. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Like I was saying before she brought it over because it always catches you off guard when they bring it over, right? I, uh, we decided to getting the half miso meter and uh, we split it half and half. So Jackie got olives and mushrooms and I got picante and onions and this looks beautiful. I think it really does. I believe last time I ate here, I gave this an 8-7, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with that score because it's the same thing, that's but an 8-7, eight, eight, that was my score. 8.7? Eight, 8.7. Eight Whoa, that's very like, a yeah. nine? No, that's a rookie score. <laughs> a rookie score. You don't give out nines every day here. <laughs> All right. Look at this undercarriage right there. That is a good undercarriage. Undercarriage? Is that what it's called? Yeah, that's the under. Yeah, look at that. You see the little char there? Yeah, that's a good undercarriage. Not too shabby, not too floppy. Got a little bit of a New York flop there, but I'm excited. I love this pizza. So, one bite, everyone knows the rules. I definitely stick with my 8.7 on this. I love it. I love the crust though, look at that. To me, I love a little bit of a char on the crust. I think it really adds a nice little kick to it. And this pizza is just really up there for me. Really, really up there. I do have to say though, if you get the full like mitzo meter here, I feel like it's a lot more floppier than the award if you got the 10 inch or 20 inch because it's larger and it doesn't have that strong undercarriage. You need to have the strong undercarriage. You can see it a little bit like when yeah. you pick it up, right? That floppiness. It's very floppy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I it's. That's it's more like condensing. Yeah. Like so if you do like, uh, like a, a very strong bottom of your pizza, go with the 20 inch. And even if you need to get two of them, you'll probably enjoy it a little bit more. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a more. <laughs> you know, I always say this, the pizza is so good here, but the worst thing is, is it's at the back of World Showcase. So right now, 
I am full. I am so full and it's gonna be a good thing to walk out of here because I need to work off those calories and also work off the tiramisu I'm about to order because I can't come to Via Napoli without getting tiramisu. So I already know that was happening. Look at that fancy tiramisu. So pretty. I know. Don't you like the lady fingers? Yeah, I do. Oh, so good. So you can really, really see the coffee like soaked up into the cake. You see the coffee at the bottom of oh the plate. Gosh, it's so so good. it's kind of like what you like to eat, uh, tres leches. Yeah, it's like tres leches. Yeah. yeah, and like it's like very, good. very wet, and yeah, you can like tell. Yeah, soaked in the juices. Yep. After that tiramisu, I think we're gonna move along. That was absolutely amazing. I love dining in there. Uh, we got ourselves an espresso afterwards. So good. One of my favorite restaurants in all of Walt Disney World. Sometimes it's very hard to capture how beautiful the skies are, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job right now. It is amazing. Look at Epcot right now. These are the nights I love coming to hang out here. And now I think we're going to hop back over on the other side of World Showcase. We started heading towards Japan, but I think we're going to backtrack to Norway because we have a road frozen in such a long time. So we'll check the wait time, and I think it would be a good ride to cap off the night. I do love Frozen. I like Maelstrom better, but Frozen's good. I do want to just stop and admire how beautiful it is out. Can you see the actual dolphin tail like in the sunset right there? Doesn't that look amazing? And plus hearing this Chinese music in the background really sets the mood. Nice. But now we're gonna have to assess the frozen situation. Assess the frozen situation. Mm, it looks a little thought out to me, to be honest. Yeah. It doesn't look bad. This is actually looking pretty promising because the line for Frozen stretches back to the China Pavilion, but usually this is just full of people. Kind of looks like a steady flow going right through here, so we might be lucky. Not too shabby, just about 50 minutes. I do have to say the queue for Inside Frozen is definitely uh, very compact. Very compact, very loud. The proclamation for the official summer snow day. <laughs> Tours of Kingdom of Arendelle now departing and hopefully we depart with the front row because that's what it looks like. Can we get front row? Yes! Woo! Champion! We, front row. <laughs> we are champions! Oh. <laughs> Watch your little ones, y'all! Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs>
like my chin was wet. That is such a good ride. Do you like my backup mask? I went to buy this the other day at the World of Disney and they ended up giving me a Disneyland one. So now I use this as my in-between mask, but I love Frozen. I thought I was gonna get a little wet, I did, but not on the mask. But as we we're making our way out, we realized Spaceship Earth, it wasn't too long of a wait, so might as well go from one great ride to another. I love time traveling. Did you know you can actually time travel on two different rides? Well, actually you can do three different rides. So you can do here, then you can do the Carousel of Progress, and then of course, Dinosaur. That's insane, right? And with that, I think we are done here. So much fun, I absolutely loved my day. We started at Magic Kingdom, took some photos, then we came on over to Epcot, took some more photos, had some pizza, some beer, some tiramisu, and rode Spaceship Earth and Frozen. Sounds like a great day. Anywho, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We will see you next time. Bye.